Hello you beautiful creatures, how the devil are you? I hope you're well. If you're new here, my name is Lou or Lucifer, as my friends like to call me. By my friends I mean my Instagram account and my ever-growing army of demons. It is Christmas! Behold my Christmas tree! Um, yes, it's Christmas, it's finally here. Hopefully when this video comes out it will be on Christmas Eve for you guys. I don't know if you remember, so a while back, this would have been in 20, ooh, 2020, I think, yes, I decided to do a video of three scary Christmas stories to get everybody in the mood, everybody in the spirit for Yuletide celebrations and joys, and not so much because we all know Christmas is a stressful time of year and not so fun sometimes. However, back in the Victorian period, what they used to do was they used to tell ghost stories to get everybody in the mood. And it's kind of sad that they've gotten rid of that tradition. However, I like to think this channel is less traditional and I'd like to bring that tradition back to you guys. So I'm really hoping that you can watch this on Christmas Eve and I can give you joy with a spooky scary christmas story uh, this is just a special little christmas message as well just to say it's christmas and thank you so much guys for being with me for the whole year i really really appreciate it we're nearly at a thousand subscribers i i can't believe it i just i just want to say thank you i really really do we're gonna do a new year's uh, year in review video anyway. Gareth's going to be here with me for that. However, I'm here tonight and it makes me feel a little bit better. I'm very Christmassy in general. I'm sad at the moment, but I'm very, very Christmassy. Um, I like to celebrate it and I want to celebrate it with you guys as well, all my lovely followers. I'm just hoping for the next, I don't know, maybe 10 or so minutes, we can just bask in each other's company. You can pull up a pew, get a hot drink, maybe a mulled wine or don't, I don't know, I'm not your dad. Um, and you can enjoy this lovely Christmas story. This story is brought to us by my very own best friend, Tilly. Tilly, Tilly, I love her very, very much. Uh, she's very talented very very talented she watched the previous video of the three scary christmas stories if you do go back and watch it i can assure that you they are they're not they're really really not but it was good fun it was enjoyable to do i had a great time doing it and the people who did watch it really really enjoyed it so she decided that she wanted to submit her own christmas story for this year she also said that the greatest christmas gift i could give to her was reading her christmas story on the channel for you guys to listen to so Tilly I hope that I do your Christmas story justice I'm so sorry if I don't my reading is terrible it's shocking however from the first couple of bits I've seen I should be okay uh, so yes if I'm a little bit nervous I'm really sorry I'm it's somebody else's work and I really want to do it justice if you do enjoy this and you would like to submit a Christmas story for next year so we could read it all together that would be amazing I would absolutely love that but without further ado let's get into it this is written by the wonderful Matilda Gottschold and it's called The Christmas Letter so I hope you're sitting comfortably get a drink or don't again I'm not your dad and let's begin. The Christmas Letter. Christmas was coming fast and Advent had already started. The streets thronged with Christmas shoppers, lights twinkling in the evening town, and the children were dreaming up wishes to tell Santa Claus. In the house at the end of the street, two, two children were writing their letters to Santa, Michelle and Toby Garston. Do you want me to help you, Toby? asked their mother. You'll have to, snapped Michelle before Toby could open his mouth. Toby can't even spell his own name. I can, exclaimed Toby. Don't be mean to Toby, Michelle. It's not his fault he's dyslexic. When the mother wasn't looking, Michelle leaned over and whispered, you can't even spell dyslexic, Toby, which is what you are. You'll never be able to write letters by yourself because you were born stupid. Toby bit his lip and held back the tears. I'll show her, he thought. I'll write my letter myself this year, mummy, he announced. Michelle smirked. Dear Santa, he wrote, I've tried my best to be good this year. Pretty please can I have a dog to be my friend? The other kids at school make fun of me because I can't spell and Michelle says I'm stupid. If I had a dog, then we could play together and I wouldn't have to play with Michelle. Pretty please, Santa, love from Toby. Aww. 
They sent the letters to Santa the next day. Michelle, being the older of the siblings, was left in charge of this task. You have to put your letter on the fire, she told Toby. Oh no. He wasn't sure about this, but as Santa comes down the chimney, he thought it made sense. Michelle was being... Michelle was being suspiciously nice. You can go first, she said, and so Toby dutifully placed the letter into the flames. As they began to take hold, Michelle let out a little laugh. Santa won't get your letter now. You're supposed to put them next to the fire, not on the fire, stupid. Now that he... Not that he would have got your letter anyway. You put the wrong name on the envelope. Now Santa won't bring you anything at all, she cackled. And it was true, Toby had misspelled Santa. Had, San had Santa received the letter, Toby would probably have gotten a reply explaining that Santa doesn't actually give animals at Christmas and they can't go in the sack and he wouldn't want another run in with the RSPCA. Santa would have said that he'll do his best and that a toy dog will probably be more appropriate. After all, a dog is a big responsibility. Oh, this is so cute, Tilly. Toby looked on as tiny flame fingers grasped at his letter, tearing into the envelope and devouring its contents. They danced full of glee as Toby watched his hopes fall as ash into the, into the grate. He'd never get his dog now and he'd be stuck in the house with Michelle all Christmas. Unbeknownst to Toby, someone did receive his letter. Someone who knew all about being an outcast. This stranger read the letter that had been addressed to him, which filled him with joy as he didn't get many letters at all. He saw Toby's plight and felt sorry for his kindred spirit. So he set, he set about how to help the poor boy. Michelle gloated the full week before Christmas, mocking Toby mercilessly. She was full of it. Christmas Eve came and they set out the traditional mince pies and milk before going to bed. At the stroke of midnight, as Toby lay in bed, he heard the clatter of hooves. Ooh, exciting. He pulled the covers over his head, trying to make sure Santa would think he was asleep. He allowed himself a small peep to see a tall figure in a red cape cross the room to the table where the offering lay. The figure took the offering gladly, then without turning around, spoke thus, Go to sleep, Toby. The voice echoed in Toby's head and sent him into a deep and heavy slumber. The next morning, when he woke, he rushed downstairs. Toby's heart sank as he saw Michelle sat with her stocking filled with gifts that she was violently tearing the paper from. Toby's stocking was empty. Had Santa really forgotten him? Maybe he hadn't left anything because he knew Toby had woken up. Mr and Mrs Garston weren't entirely sure what to do. Santa had never let them down before. Just as... Just at that moment, as the family was gathered around, the hearth burst into flames. Huge, impossible plumes of fire that leapt and hailed their creator. As the inferno roared ferociously, out padded a huge black puppy with glowing red eyes that blazed hotter than any furnace. Embers dripped from his jaws and singed the carpet where they fell. Michelle's face had gained a ghastly pallor as she witnessed with abject horror. Toby's Christmas miracle had come true. Wide-eyed, she sat there aghast. Mr and Mrs Garston exchanged looks. They had no intention of acquiring a dog or any other kind of pet. This is Toby's sat hound, spoke the voice that Toby was already familiar with, but still found uncomfortable. It will stay by his side for all eternity. And so it did. Toby flung his arms around the dog, which leapt up and licked Toby's face with a warm tongue. As everyone knows, a dog is man's best friend, and now Toby had a best friend that would go with him everywhere. When they went back to school, no one dared to make fun of Toby now. Even Michelle was terrified of Toby and his loyal hound. Toby was forever grateful for this most precious of Christmas gifts. After all, Toby knew that a hellhound's for life not just for Christmas. Yes, 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 yes. Well done, Tilly, that was phenomenal. I love that so much. Oh man, that's cute. Man, 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 that's cute. That's, yeah, that's really cheered me up and made me feel Christmassy. I, I hope that you enjoyed that one, guys. That was, it was special knowing that she'd written that because she enjoyed watching the video and, you know, wanted, wanted her story to be heard so Tilly thank you that was a lovely lovely story very very cute the devil isn't that bad 
I'm fine. I'm wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Yes, uh, if you did like that story, please comment down below. Let Tilly know. She's a phenomenal individual. She's far too caring for her own good. And honestly, I wish I could protect her from everything. I really, really do. She, she puts out so much into the world and yeah. I'm really proud of you, Tilly. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that you've shared that with us so i hope you enjoyed that christmas story and i hope that tomorrow i'm really hoping this comes out on christmas eve like i really wanted to i hope tomorrow everything goes as well as it can if tomorrow's going to bring a little bit of difficulty just please be kind to yourself you know it's not the end of the world if you pass by christmas in your own way do you know what i mean don't let people force you into being a part of something you don't want to be a part of if you're doing it just to make them happy then you're surrounding yourselves with the wrong people at the end of the day you've got to think about number one and you know life's hard enough as it is if you are going to have a day where you're looking forward to family and seeing friends then i wish nothing but the best for you and yours it's it is a wonderful time of the year i love going to see my family um spending the day with them i really really do so christmas is different for everybody if you do find that you are struggling a little bit please drop me a message drop me a message on instagram wherever i'm more than happy to chat i get it seasonal depression oh not fun depression in general am i right like putting them both together you're just like oh this is so much worse um yeah so if you need anything i am here if you did like the video please consider subscribing i know that i'm not going to get to a thousand by christmas like that's impossible but if i could get to a thousand by new year new year's eve or even after that that would be honestly the best gift ever that you guys could give me um we're 95 away it's literally not in triple figures anymore like it's just in double figures so thank you thank you thank you so much for giving me the gift of your company this year for giving me the gift of your support your comments your love for everything thank you so so much um I'm going to say thank you all now because when I do get to a thousand and I am putting that video up, I will literally be a blubbering wreck. If you do want to see that, that's great. Uh, I will also be doing a giveaway because I'm currently in works with a very good friend of mine. She is going to be doing some artwork for me for the channel and I'm going to be doing a giveaway of a hoodie with the new artwork. So if you do want that, you know what to do please subscribe please give tilly some love she's wonderful she's a beautiful creature she is one of the best creatures she's followed this channel religiously she's been ferociously supportive and i couldn't ask for a better supporter and an even better best friend so thank you tilly thank you everybody who's watched have a wonderful christmas and a wonderful yule you've all deserved it i hope you've had a good day if not that's okay always remember tomorrow's a new day See you later, guys. Bye.